Hi, in this exercise what we're going to do is we're going to play around with the, uh, with the formation of the A chord. We're going to break the A chord down and just play a few elements within the chord. And here's how we're going to do that. Here's the A. One, two, three. Second fret. One, two, three. Or I can bar one, two, three. Or easy fingers. All second fret, the D string, the G string, the B string. Whatever, however you finger it or play them. Depends on what else you might want to do with the chord in terms of adding, adding notes to it. The A chord down here. We're going to take this shape, which is the same shape we use in the C chord, the G chord, where we have our index finger back down from the from the fret of the of the second finger. We have this shape here on the G chord. Here it is in the C chord. We're going to move that same shape to the eighth fret of the B string and the G string. Our thumb is going to pluck the A string. Then our two fingers, these two for a second, are going to pluck the G string and the B string together. This is what we get. right on the same fret as the second finger on the seventh fret. So here's where we are so far. One, two, then go back to this again. Three, four. So there's two different shapes. There's this shape and this shape, which we're going to position on three frets for a count of four. Here's all we're doing. One, shape one, shape two, back to shape one, Back to shape two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'll do it real slow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. You keep doing that. that we're working on moving our fingers, developing dexterity, and also being able to, to improvise with certain chords when we land on them, we can pretty much use that anytime we're on an A and different variations of that, which we'll go into later. But just work on that. Practice those, uh, those movements and those two shapes, okay? All right. That's all we have for right now. See you next time.